and seven DD from JT Art Science and Commerce College for Women Malegaon District Nasik. The topic which I had selected today that is a water pollution. Water pollution simply means contamination of water due to any external material or in other words introduction of something to natural water which makes it unsuitable for human consumption as water is a precious resource and without its life is not possible on earth water is getting polluted day by day due to excessive and careless use so the percentage of available drinking water is reducing there are many ways which causes water pollution and the effects of it are very harmful for all living and non living objects so the water pollution can be defined as presence of solid liquid and gaseous contaminants in such concentration that may alter the quality of water water pollution is defined as the addition to water of an excess material or heat that is harmful to the living organisms or which impairs the beneficial use of water as a pure form of water from where the water which gets as precipitation rain that comes in all different forms depending on the temperature of the atmosphere as rain snow sleet hail these are the pure forms of water so the sources of water which are from the precipitation as the water pollution is caused by several sources which are not independent in nature but interact with one another generally one or two factors become prominent and may be considered the primary sources of water pollution the various sources of water pollution can be broadly classified as in natural and human when we study about the natural sources from where the sources of water pollution being caused those are natural elements which create water pollution and are gases soil minerals human material and waste created by animals and other living organisms present in the water mostly during rains one can see direct impact of soil on the waters of rivers tanks and other water bodies and mostly the brown and dirty water is the result of mud mixed in the water which becomes clear after some times similarly several types of natural suspended and colloidal impurities are also found in the water these elements may be organic or inorganic and may even be harmful the minerals like sodium potassium calcium magnesium iron etc are also present in the water and if their quantity is more than the permissible limit these are these may also provide dangerous so the besides some poisonous minerals such as nickel cobalt lead mercury cadmium etc are also responsible for water pollution sometimes water bond vegetation too became a cause of pollutions and due to the human sources 
there is no doubt that water pollution is the result of human activities as we are say, uh, observing in the second figure so the rapid growth of population urbanization industrialization and increased use of chemical <coughs> have resulted in water pollution and this problem is increased day by day in spite of several measures taken in this direction and hence this is not only a problem of developed countries also but also it of developing countries besides both urban and rural people are badly affected by it a misconcept developed right from the drawn of human civilization is that water bodies can be used as dumping grounds for all types of waste and this is responsible for water pollution throughout the world this is not only hazardous to human health and other organisms but also disturb the delicate ecosystems so the domestic sewage man for his various domestic purposes such as drinking preparation of food bathing cleaning cooling he uses average near about 135 liters of water in a one day means 70 to 80% of this is discharged and drained out this water is known as domestic waste and other waste materials such as paper plastic detergents clothes etc are mixed in it it turns into municipal waste or sewage and hence the domestic waste water and sewage is the main source of the water pollution and hence this is the inevitable and unfortunate follow of urbanization as it decays this organic waste depletes the oxygen from water and upsets the natural balance of the aquatic ecosystem so the industrial activities generate a wide variety of waste products such as generally discharged into water courses major countries are the pulp and paper chemicals petrochemicals and refining metal working food processing textiles distillery etc the waste broadly categorized as heavy metals or synthetic organic compounds reach bodies of water either through direct discharge or by leaching from waste dumps in developed countries of the world many industrial discharges are strictly controlled he ate water pollution continues from accumulation of wastes discharge over the past 100 years as the damodar river of bihar yeah in indian rivers as the ganga river several chemical textiles pulp and paper petrochemical rubber fertilizers and other heavy industries are located at and all of them discharge their waste water and other influence directly or indirectly into the river resulting in the pollution to such an extent that even the ganga action plan to control water pollution has failed from delhi industrial area alone more than 8 lakh tons of industrial waste is discharged into the river yamuna 
from Bihar also highly polluted rivers due to industrial waste. Those are Bukaro, Raurkela, Indian Iron and Steel companies as Bengal paper mills, Sindri fertilizer factories. This reveals the Durgapur plant and hence a washed coal in discharge into the rivers. As the industries as chemical industries, these industries include acid manufacturing industries like as a alkali manufacturing, fertilizers, pesticides and several other industries influence, influence from these industries contain acids and from fertilizer industries contain phosphorus, fluorine, silica and large amounts of suspended solids. As a petroleum industries, it includes oil refineries as petrochemical plants. The effluents discharge include hydrocarbons, phenolic compounds and other organic and inorganic sulfur compounds. As far as concern to the religious, the people who are taking bath in the rivers and hence a water being contaminated due to the human being. So water pollution is probably responsible for more human illness and then any other environmental factor. Thus a diseases so transmitted are chiefly caused by microorganisms and parasites. So here, sewages and polluted water are responsible for several water borne diseases as uh, we have seen that the cholera, typhoid, diarrhea, dysentery, hepatitis, the polio, amoebaic dysentery, jaundice, ja cholera. So illness caused by injections by the bacterium and hence re results rapidly in massive fluid depletion and death in a very large percentage of patients. So it is a transmitted by drinking water contaminated with the faces of infected individuals. So developing countries dazed by cholera and still common. Gynea worm is another disease caused by polluted drinking water. In India alone about 18 lakh people suffer from this disease. So to control this water pollution now has become a worldwide problem. So not only developing countries but developed countries also. However, developed countries have initiated several methods so for that prevention should be taken and to control the water pollution. So using water has seen to remove water pollutants as using chemical methods those are ion exchange, reverse osmosis, precipitation, coagulation, real recycling should be there, recharge and reuse of waste water. So this is one of the very important message to all. Thank you. Thank you very much.